In this complete tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Dolly 2 and we'll walk through the different features like how to use image generation, out painting and in painting. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you will need to sign up or log in. Now, if you have an open AI email that you use for ChatGPT, you can simply log into Dolly with your open AI email. And here's going to ask you which one you would like to use. So in our case, I'm going to say Dolly. Okay, so here we are. And this is where we can actually start playing around with the images, generating new ones, or doing out painting and in painting. So I'm going to explain now just in a second, how this is done. Now to get some inspiration, you can scroll down, you can hover over these images, and you can see it's going to it's going to let AI know which style you would like to generate this in. So let's say that I'm going I want to say a sea otter in the style of Picasso. And then all you have to do is just click generate. So as you can see, this is our sea otter in the style of Picasso. Yeah, okay, looks very interesting. So I really like this one high quality photo of a monkey astronaut. Now, if you click on it, you'll be able to try this example. So if I click try on this example, it will give me different variations of a high quality photo of a monkey astronaut. And if you click on it, then you can just simply click right here and you will be able to download this image. Now, as you can imagine, this is only limited by your creativity and by your ability to generate these different prompts. So this is one way to use Dolly, where you give it some kind of text, what you want it to draw, and then it goes ahead and does that. But another way to actually also use Dolly is when you upload an image and then you either out paint or in paint. So let me show you. First, let's click on upload an image to edit. And then I have two options. I can either edit the image or I can generate variations. So let's first click on generate variations. So now what Dolly is gonna do is gonna use my image as a reference and it's going to generate variations based on this image. So there we have it. This doesn't look too nice in my opinion. This person looks really weird, whoever he is on the right. And yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> I prefer the original. But now let's actually go ahead and let's go back. I'm going to upload the same image, but this time I'm going to click on edit image. And here I have the eraser tool. So let's say that I'm going to erase the background. If you want to make your brush smaller, you can just simply do it right here on the right hand side. And you can also zoom in by clicking plus right here. And then you just simply move around and you paint in the parts or you actually erase the parts that you want to create with AI. So once you remove the part that you would like to replace with something AI generated, you can now type in what you want. So let's say that I want the background where I am to be in space. And as you can see, Dali gives us a hint to describe the entire image, not just the erased areas. So let's say that's a young man in space. And then I click on generate. And there we have it. We have this young man in space. There is some text with SPAC and there's some horizon of earth and yeah, this is not looking too good. So maybe I should play around with uh, the prompt, but this is basically what's called in painting. Let's try and click surprise me to see what it gives us a cat submarine chimera digital art. So together with my photo, oh, I don't know. Let's give it a try. Okay. And <laughs> this is looking not bad. I like this one me with a submarine. Now let's say that I also want to change the, my haircut, right? So let's say that I want to maybe give myself a mohawk. So what I can do is I can remove this part here and I can say, give him a mohawk. And then I click generate. Oh, we got an error here saying that the server is currently overloaded. So I don't know, maybe let's try generating again. There we go. So now AI went ahead and changed my haircut. It's not exactly a mohawk, but you can see that it did give me like very different weird haircuts. Um, and yeah, this is uh, pretty interesting. So let's upload another image here. So to expand your image beyond what you currently have, what do you want to do is you want to first click on add generation frame. Now you want to drag this generation frame all the way here to the like this, you want to place it. And then you want to say, you know, mountains, and then click on generate. And as you can see, Dali did an absolutely amazing job of filling out this image that we have here with a completely new one. And you can actually go through the different variations of this and it looks so incredibly good. Oh my goodness. I think I actually like this one the most. So I'm going to stick with this and click on accept. Wow, this is just absolutely fantastic what we just were able to do. And then if you want to click another one, you just simply click on add generation frame, you drag it to the same position as this one. And you say snow, mountains, Alps, grass, and then click on generate. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm just 
in awe with how good this tool is making these things. So if we go ahead and we click on the different variations, yeah, we can see that this is just so incredibly good. You can see that it's not really getting the framing here right a little bit, but yeah, we can see that it's still really, really good. I think this this one looks good. This one looks okay, but either the first one or the second one. The first one looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna just click accept. So as you can see, this is absolutely incredible of what it was able to do. So let's compare now the original image, which is here on the left with the right image. So as you can see, it got it a little bit wrong here with this uh, part of the grass. And But besides this part here, I mean, the mountains and the sky, and everything here looks good. So this is a very powerful feature. All right, so this is how you use Dolly 2. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe.